Hello and welcome back to another video where we'll be discussing about the different views in Project Module. As you know, Odoo provides views in different modules. We have views such as the Kanban view, list view, pivot view, cohort view, graph view, and so on. We have a lot of views. So, Project Module is also one among the important modules of Odoo. So let's go through or let's explore the project module and see what are the different views provided by Odoo inside the project module. So I'm opening the project module here. And once you open, you can see all the projects which are created. Now in this particular page, you can see there are two different views, which are Kanban and List View. And currently we are viewing the Kanban view, which is a card like view. Now if you just take a single card or single project, you can see the name of the project the company, the customer, the date uh, and the task corresponding to it and the person who created it and all can be seen here. Okay, now here we have the list view of the projects. So this is the list view of the same which we saw right now. Here we have the name, customer, company, start date, end date, project manager and also the status of the project. Okay, then if you go to my task, you can see all the tasks which are created inside the module okay so this is actually the kanban view okay so under the pipeline it's actually kind of a pipeline view and under each stage you can see the tasks which are uh, corresponding to them okay so we have a uh, one task under inbox one task under today this week this month and all and some are folded in kanban okay so from here you can create a personal stage so this is actually the Kanban view. Now inside the Kanban view, they are making us, uh, I mean, they are providing the creation. Okay. So that's it. And then we have the list view. So this is the list view of all the tasks. So inside the list view, you have the title, the project, milestone, assignees, company, next activity, tags, and also the stage. So here you can mark them as favorites and all. Okay. Then... After that, we have the Gantt view. So this is the Gantt view. And here you can see the tasks which are being created. And also who created it or not. Here you can see Michelle Admin, Mark Demo and all. If you want to add a new one, just click on add. So it, may, it enables you to add a new record. So here I'm going to create a new task which is new. And you can put it under a project or even you can create private tasks. And here comes the customer the sale order item and all and the description extra info and all can be given here i'm just saving it and here you can see the new task has come so it is taking the date okay that's schedule date if you want you can just click on this and change the plan date so i'm just changing the date to okay to 8 apply see so here you can see that length and all has reduced because it takes the date which we are giving okay this is the starting date and the ending date okay so if you want to see the previous ones you can just click on this arrow and the next ones you can see it here and for today if something is scheduled you can click on today and see that now if you want to see it on the base of a day a week month or even year it is possible inside the gantt view then we have the calendar view so this is uh, like a calendar itself inside the calendar under each date you can see what all tasks are assigned and all and here you can see the colors which represents a project research and development and also office design which are the uh, two different projects okay now here you have the calendar which shows the uh, date that is the current date what is the date today okay so if you just take a look you can see and by just clicking on any of the date, you can create a task there. Okay. So that's it. Um, I'll just show you creating one. So here I'm creating one which is demo. Saving and closing it. So here you can see demo has been created. Okay. So it's actually an undefined one. That's why its color is uh, kind of a gray color. Okay. I didn't uh, provide it under any project because it's a private task. Then we have the map view. So this is the map view. Okay. So here you can see the new ones, planning and budget, user interface improvement, user usability review, document management. And all. Now, 
here is the map view if you just zoom it you can see one here so if you just click on that you can see the name is new that was the one which we created right now okay your, your task okay and if you want to open it just click on open by that you can open it okay and leave it so here under the map view you can see the task which you created okay that's it and then we have the pivot view it's nothing but a table okay so you can easily flip axes here and also change the measures so i'm changing it to allocated hours so along with the count you can see allocated hours also and if i'm adding rating last value you can see the rating last value is also added so i'm just removing it and you can expand it from here and also you can download the excel sx from here and if you want to insert this into a spreadsheet simply clicking on insert in spreadsheet enables you to insert it into spreadsheet then we have the graph view so this is the graph view of the tasks okay so here you can see the project to which each task belongs to and the color represents the you know stage under which it is uh, currently existing so here you can see in progress new undefined and all okay we have the pie chart here line chart and also the bar chart and you can get the stacked view also the descending and ascending view if it go to the line chart also you have the cumulative view stacked view descending and ascending okay then we have the activities so here by just clicking on this icon you should you can easily schedule activity so simply clicking on this plus icon here that is the schedule activity enables you to schedule activity corresponding to any of these tasks or you can simply click on anywhere that is here you have email call meeting or to do so under meeting i'm clicking on that plus icon here you can see the activity type has automatically come to meeting and then you can simply uh, give the details and click on schedule so it's scheduled now this yellow color represents this activity is scheduled for today now if it's green it means it's uh, planned for future and if it's red that uh, deadline is over okay so these are the main views which comes under my task and under the reporting you have task analysis where you have the graph view and also the pivot view okay and under configuration you have task stages here also we have two views which is list and the canvan view so this are, these are the stages okay under which each, ta each task belongs to so here you can see the two different views so these are the views which are there inside the project module i hope it's clear thank you so much for watching